Welcome to Demon's B Day. This is really something for me, a dream. It's something that I envisioned when I started in summer 2023, but now it's coming true. And that dream was to really make our business school in Northeastern University a gateway to business, a gateway to what is happening out there in the corporate world, the things we study, the things we teach our students, to bring it out there, our thought leadership. So how are we gonna organize this? I will each time for every round call the three faculty presenters, and then I'll also call the four honored judges. Uh, we will then have five minutes each of the faculty presentations, and uh, then the judges have 10 minutes uh, to give comments. And so we're gonna do that. That's one round for four rounds. In order to shed light on the mixed findings, like the two examples that I showed, we conducted two media analysis with uh, a group of Brazilian co-authors. Which basically require all companies to tell us what their text is about. Um, so this is an extension of my existing work. I've done a lot of work on the robotics industry. Track. I would imagine. You talked about the different groups, right, that could use it. If, if Investor had, had a way to get any kind of an edge using a tool like that. So what's the novel here? Everybody uses ChatGPT. We're going to take the, the idea of chat <laughs> to the next level. We know that about 50%, more than 50% of companies are treating return to office as a requirement. While some people are ready to embrace these tools at home, there may be hesitancy among others to bring these tools into their personal lives. I find it fascinating, this topic, necessity is the mother of invention, and you had a problem that needed to be solved, and here you are living in space. So, and a lot of companies that have not scaled, because there's just not a big enough market, and there's not a big enough um, a reason for employers to continue to pay for it because they're not getting enough, you know, bang for their buck. When a firm gets sued, what happens to every firm around them? You've got lots of firms, maybe in the same industry, maybe next door, and one will inevitably be more successful than the other um, because of many other factors that exist. Do people have a natural proclivity to ask one type of question or the other, promotional and or preventative? Automation implies that machines will take over tasks done by humans. Augmentation really refers to the collaboration between people and machines. But this, they have to uh, make a lot of joint decisions together, and all of these decisions require group input. But the bottom line is, uh, at least right now, and given the pace at which this field is expanding, we don't yet quite understand or quite have a great ROI for uh, AI usage. Definitely an issue I face when you have employees who all want to feel like they're part of uh, the vision, but you can't get everyone's advice.